Still nothing. Wow, that's a whole half a lap with absolutely no power. Bogus. What is going on, bike fam? It's your boy Sizzly. I'm out at Langley Speedway in Virginia, just north of Newport News, Virginia Beach area. And uh, we've got no power, at least for the first half lap here. Um, not sure what happened, but uh, make sure to calibrate your power meter and don't sit idle too long at the start line. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's an early season race. I think uh, March 4th, uh, doing the 3-4. And I think we got about 34 riders that uh, that showed up and were hungry to ride. So um, let's let's jump right into the format here since we've already taken our first hot lap. <laughs> One of 54, right? Wow, 53. Nineteen and a half mile race, about 28 mile average. Uh, really surprised by the 36.3 max. Um, must have been a sprint that I just don't remember right now. Um, only earning two hot dogs with a normalized power of 334. Um, kind of feels bad. Well, it is what it is. Um, and we're, we're only three laps in. And you can already see this starting to get strung out. My friends over at Sauce let me know that uh, I am indeed performing like a Cat 3 still. So since this is kind of being treated like a, a little bit like a track race, it's basically full gas the whole way, no stop pedaling, no stop, yep, no stop pedaling, and uh, it, you can see this, like it's basically single file all the way around this donut hole. Um, don't think we're going to need to get too into the course conditions here, because I think we're going to see them enough times, but um, there's a couple of hitters up on the front there just really driving the pace. And the section we're, we're going into right now, I mean, they all seem like the same section, but right here on this this opposite side of the finish is where the headwind is. So you're gonna notice more people kind of tucking in, and then you're gonna see people winding it up on the way back around. Um, there were some creams. Uh, the cream that I really wanted was a loaf of bread that was made in like a, a local bakery, and I did not get it. Um, and. I'm starting to see something scary moving up the road here. So I want to make sure that I'm going to get connected before the really, 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 really bad headwind. And let's see if we make it. This would have been a great race to have that back camera. Uh, I unfortunately had a lot of camera issues this season. So uh, if I miss a couple races, please don't hate me. I remember this uh, ECE team was uh, really, really um, present. Um, and try to organize a couple lead ups to try to get teammates to, to work together and collaborate. Um, but it looks like the, their one teammate back here is really, really digging getting out of the saddle trying to get on there. Um, it's got me wondering if I need to start going around. Eat off his plate first, right? I mean, it's a donut, right? It's, it's just a big circle. Um, pretty good pavement for the most part. A few cracks you need to watch out for. Um, and some of the divots and, and splits to the left of that white line uh, basically is out of bounds, but super, super dangerous. You could lose your wheel in some of those cracks over there that you can see in the yellow. Um, so if you do race this, make sure to uh, keep your head up and make sure you're, you're not going on, out of bounds in that regard. Uh, friends of the channel will probably notice I, I don't normally just cut right back to the same video but so much happens at the very start of this race that needs to be spoken about. The individual in front of me uh, is riding solo. Um, it's 
name's Josh Moore, and not only does he show how strong he is, but I think he goes on to win the next race. Um, I won't spoil how this one plays out, but um, we basically, this group here is going to end up lapping the entire field. Um, I think more than once. Um, so it, it's, it's pretty apparent that we are really dedicated to this break at this point. Um, so much so that I've just been playing leapfrog for the entire race, and I'm just now about to see the front for the first time. So, um, I want to make this as hard as I can, and I get as low as I can on my hoods, and try to make anybody who's behind me have a really bad day, because I am coming back from a vacation of doing nothing but a ton of miles, and I am just ready to tear people's legs off. I think I'd go for like a, a full lap pull here. Nope. There goes Josh. And I swing way too far wide. Wow. What was I doing? Definitely doesn't make sense to uh, to swing so far wide out like that. Um, especially since everybody's committed to the break. So. Um, really just was an over-exaggerated swing wide. It probably could have actually been a little bit dangerous if someone was on the outside of me. I'd like to say I, I should have some big grand plan, but no, not really much tactics. I think that the only thing was get some points, lap up, go with it, go time? Go time! Go time! <laughs> Yeah, that was literally it. Just get on and pedal as hard as I could. But eventually we do lap up enough that uh, we do catch the main peloton. And this is where a little bit of silliness starts to happen. Um, I will be honest, I didn't know what the rules were when you lap up like this, because I've never been this privy. Uh, so I, I find myself just kind of navigating wheels, just sitting there at relatively normal pace for, uh, I guess maybe not normal for 29 miles an hour, um, and, and just, I just flow with it for a little bit, um, wait for the next inevitable uh, break for something to go through, or um, I need to just mark the uh, two individuals that uh, survived that breakaway with me. Um, while trying to make it really hard on the front. Uh, we were able to shoot out a couple riders that I was very confident were going to out sprint me because their legs were the size of my torso. So, uh, just being polite, letting you guys know, uh, it looked like they're a little bit nervous where I am. Um, using complete senses rather than just yelling, hold your line, kind of. Uh, it helps in, in, in those situations rather than freaking a rider out and just, I don't know, becoming all aggro. Um, the sport's already not really welcoming enough as it is, right? Just as I was concerned about, um, a move does go up the road and uh, some of my brake mates are in it, so it's, it's on me to make that not a thing. Um, Unfortunately, uh, it's, it's on this back stretch, and I'm able to get a little bit of draft before I have to really put a good dig in to, to reconnect. Um, honestly, I think the only thing going through my head at this point was to uh, not have to contest sprint through a, a sea of uh, 35 people. And there goes Josh. Man, I hope this guy's a cat one now. And I think the rear camera will show that uh, everybody is trying their darndest to not let us go again. Well, unfortunately, I think that uh, the group didn't let us go again a second time, so... Um, we're, we're easing off a little bit.
All right, so I, I botched the data. We're actually coming up on two to go. And uh, I want to stay out of this melee, so I'm going to try to hitch a ride to the front of this race. Um, just to just to keep safe. And you can see that riders are trying to push to the outside. Nate's coming on the outside. Another rider almost overlapped wheels. It's a... Nobody's fault. Something you got to be mindful of. And uh, Nate out here just holding his line, looking for a good spot to hopefully punch through, because I know he's got a good sprint. So ideally, I'd, I'd like to be on his wheel, but as you can see, there's just a ton of bicycles between me and him right now. And we're going to come up with Bell Lap. And right about now, I probably should have slotted in on the left here a little bit, but I think that it's, it's in my head right now. I just got to worry about the rest of the season before um, I worry about the, the, one of the first races and really coming out for a big W. And some people are already kind of fading off the right here. And I'm going to come up and try to get on a good wheel here. Um, riders kind of sprinting out into the wind here. Really, again, I should have just found a way to move over to the left here. Right where that Kelly Benefits kit is. Oh, Bike Doctor makes a sharp move out there. And now I'm the one who's all the way on the right, eating all the wind. So, um, we did lap up, so I did up getting third on the day. Uh, it was a great race. Graham is a great race promoter and does uh, this in Newport News. So guys, come on up, check it out, and I'll see you in the next one.